Alright guys, I am back, part 19. I leveled up a couple characters. Oh, and there are fights here. Ah, uh, Walker got an attack boost of plus four. Riku got an attack boost of plus four. Sure, we didn't get much. I'm one away from learning Mug with him, which is kind of good. I'm now learning mug with him, so he can mug now, which is exciting. Yeah, there's nothing for her for a bit, so... So for people that are having trouble with the boss coming up, and you know what boss is coming up, uh, the best way to go about beating him is honestly leveling up all your Aeons so their overdrives are full, and then going to town on him. And I'll show you how to do that properly. Your overdrives have to be full before you get there, because... They just do. I wouldn't lie to you about something like that. And as I was doing that, I kind of realized I screwed up. I should have hit these guys first. That's lucky. Oh well, it happens. So even, I think I just picked up two Mega Phoenix, as you saw there. But uh, this is actually turning out to be an amazing place to train. And I'm not going to stay here forever because I'm recording and that wouldn't be fair to you guys. It's a little upsetting though because I wouldn't mind the extra leveling. I don't think it's going to be that high when I get to the Calm Lands, but...
Anywho, uh, yeah, so if you're having trouble, apparently this is a good place to level as well. That might be why it's so good. So, I'm gonna save again. So, Yuna just learned Shell and Protect, which is pretty, pretty big, pretty huge for us. Too much, Seymour. It is good to see you again, Lady Yuna, but you don't seem pleased. I'll only be pleased when you're gone to the far plane. First challenge that I see I'm gonna have is getting Kamari out. <laughs> Which I suppose will be the same challenge a lot of people have. Problem being, I'm not entirely sure what element he's using next. That worked out. out of here. 
help Riku out a bit. Okay, so that's going to be your first problem, is if you're like me and you don't use Kamari, you're going to have to get him out of there. Now that we're kind of set up, you can tell he's using elemental magic. I'm pretty sure he's going to go for Blizzard again. So, what was it? Blizzard, Thunder, Water, Fire. You can continuously have Yuna nulling all of those if you want. Although he was not the man I once knew, Keenock was still my friend, Seymour. You will pay for his death! So that's part one. Part two is this little guy. You can't kill him. He has 4,000 HP, and I will show you that you can't kill him by killing him. What he'll do is he'll drain the HP from Seymour to re reinvigorate himself, I guess. So you can do up to basically 14,000 damage, 10,000 because the cap is 9,999, and then the 4,000 that he'll draw back from the mortar body there. So you saw the banish attack he does there, he'll do that after every attack that an Aeon gets. So if you let them get that attack in, it's it's going down. Shattering Claw is a move that he'll use when he uses Break like this. So you've got to heal that super quick. Now his max HP drops down to 3,000, and he'll draw 3,000 from him. So 
the next priority is if you don't have Dispel or you don't have any Purifying Salts from the battles from earlier, you're pretty much SOL when it comes to, uh... You know what, I'm gonna use a Mega Potion just cause. But you're pretty much not gonna be able to get rid of that Protect and it's gonna hold you back quite a bit. Oh, and that was incredibly lucky. Had he if it walked out, it would have been game over. Well, not game over, game over. But... So basically, once you get a party in that you enjoy, or you switch in as many characters as you want to get involved in this. Uh, you can just start unloading. I use attack reels because I have a lot of attack reel power. You can also use the Aeons. You saw me use one overdrive. Uh, the other two that I had on standby still would do a ton of damage as well. Some more level two key spheres. Those are going to come in handy in a little bit, and not just we for escaped locks. with our skins intact, but Yuna lost something. I could already tell her faith was shaken. Yevon had betrayed her. I felt like I should do or say something, anything, but nothing came. I was just as lost as she was, and then. Well? We're all clear. We will have to avoid Bevel in the future. Yuna? Said she wanted to be alone. Of course. Must be tough for Yuna. Wonder what Yuni will do, huh? Think she'll quit her pilgrimage? That's what you want, right? Well... If Uni really wants to keep going, then... I guess I shouldn't stop her, you know? That's what I think, anyway. Yuna's off in the woods. Kamari's with her, but maybe you should go too. Maybe you should talk to her? We leave at daybreak. If Yuna figures out, we'll... I feel kind of bad leaving... I'm trying to get to the save point. Apparently I can't, so I'm just gonna go ahead. So anyways, that's a fairly difficult boss battle for some. Like I said, power up your Aeons, you've got five of them. Even if they're only hitting for 8,000 each, that's still more than enough to uh, to take him out. Just keep summoning them and, you know, killing off turns with some of the other characters. I'm going to turn my audio off for a little bit. You can watch all the scenes that are about to happen. I think I'll get a trophy for this later, but we'll talk about that in a bit. Enjoy. I always thought that this would be easier somehow. I thought that everyone would help me, with all my friends together beside me. I've been trying so hard. Maybe... You're trying too hard. They told me... Everything. Everything? Well, so then... You know? Yeah. I'm sorry. It's just... You know... All those things I said. 
Like, let's go get Sin, or about Xanarkand. I didn't know what would happen to you, Yuna. I guess... I hope it didn't make you sad. Forgive me. I wasn't sad. I was happy. <sighs> Yuna! Just don't do it. The pilgrimage? Uh, yeah. That's right. Forget all about sin. Uh, about being a summoner. Forget all that. Mm, you know, live a normal life. Come on now, Yuna, what do you say? Maybe I will. Wouldn't everyone be surprised? Yeah. Except Riku. She'd be with you. Lulu and Waka wouldn't hold out long. Kamari would say yes, too, I know. But Sir Oren. I'll make him understand, Yuna. It's the least I can do for you. No. I should tell him. He deserves it. What'll I do if I give up my pilgrimage? Mm. Hey! Xanarkin! Let's go to Xanarkin! Uh? uh, not the one in Spira, the one I'm from. Uh huh. Uh, yeah, we can all fly there. Everyone can go. Then we'll have a big party at my place. And then we could see Blitzball. That's right. Your Xanarkand Abes would play? Yeah. We could all watch you play in the stadium all lit up at night. I'd cheer and cheer till I couldn't cheer anymore. Yeah, right on. Well, what about after the game? Huh? We'd go out and have fun. In the middle of the night? <laughs> no problem. Xanarkand never sleeps. Let's go to the sea, before the sunrise. The city lights go out one by one. The stars fade. Then the horizon glows, almost like it's on fire. It's kind of rose-colored, right? First in the sea, then it spreads to the sky, then to the whole city. It gets brighter and brighter, till everything glows. It's really pretty. I know you'd like it. Hmm. I'd like to see it someday. Well, you can, Yuna. We can both go. You... I can't. I just can't.
میونه Continue. I must. Mm. If I give up now, I could do anything I wanted to. And yet, even if I was with you, I could never forget. I'll go with you. What? I'm your guardian. Unless I'm fired. <laughs> Stay with me. Until the end. Please. Not until the end. Always. then. Maybe you should head back to camp first. Roger. I'll go with you. Sir Oren? 
Waka. Lulu. Kamari. Riku. Everyone, we leave at dawn. And... I'm sorry for putting you through all this. And, um... Enough. You need your rest. Yes. Good night. Okay, so we are headed to the calm land. Lands. Long ago, the High Summoners fought sin here. The road ends here. Beyond, there are no towns, no villages, only endless plains. Many Summoners stray from their path and lose their way here. I've always known where to go. I... I won't let you die. I'll find a way somehow. could make it come true. Perhaps you would like to know a bit about these planes. Mm -hmm. As you know, these planes were once a battlefield. A great battle between Bevel and Zanakan, a melee of Machina. That war left this place a barren, lifeless land. Then time passed. The summoners took note of this uninhabited land. Great battles could be fought here with no harm to the common folk. Perfect for a final battle with sin, as it were. Summoners wait here, ready to perform the final summoning. Ah, to know what they must feel. In any case, when Sin is defeated here, the calm will visit Spira once more. That's why this place is now known 
as the Calm Lands. Exactly who dubbed it so is unknown. And that, as they say, is that. We'll get through this. So I've got 20 minutes left in the video, give or take. What I'm going to do... What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the travel agency first. And then I'm going to go to the monster arena. From there, I will probably end the video. Remembered I have mug. I could have been mugging people. So something I just want to point out really quick too. Um those tetra elementals I stole there are used for making a curse proof armor. I have no idea how many you need because I've never found anywhere other than that specific Seymour battle that I can steal them. So, yeah. Like, I would think with them being that hard to get, maybe even five? Or that five might even be a, a high number two, I don't know.
せいでしょ That's how it's done. I get that for fun. Father Zook. Long time no see. You are Yuna? Hmm. You certainly don't look like Mr. Kinok's murderer. What you say? <clears throat> Please, tell us what has happened. Mr. Micah just issued a personal order, you know. It said that you and your guardians murdered Maester Kinok and fled. We are to kill you on sight, or so it says. What of Bavel? Things are calm on the surface, but the depths are turbulent. After the death of Maester Kinok, Kelk Ronso left Yevon. Convenient. Getting around will be easier with Yevon in disarray. But be careful, my friends. You have been branded enemies of Yevon. You should avoid temples for the time being. Thank you, Father Zook, for your warning. Father, you came all the way here just to tell us this? To tell the truth, I was a little curious to see... this summoner you are guarding. I hope her pilgrimage goes well. For your sake, too. Thank you, Father. I must be off. I shall pray for all of you. Messi. What is? Yevon, Micah and Seymour are not of one mind. Remember what Seymour said last we met. I do not think Micah will concur. She's not stopping, is she? Yuna, she's made her decision. But I can't just let her go. We won't have to. We'll save Yuna even if she calls the final Aeon. But how? Mm, I'll think of a way. But what if you can't? 
I'm tired of talking to you. It's always but this, but that. But... Let's think together. Okay. And if we can't think of something, we find another way. Okay. Gaga Z is Ronso Land, Kimari home. Hmm. Uh, hey, we might meet your family. Kimari has no family. Oh, uh, sorry. But Kimari not alone. When I was guarding Zook, I already told you this, yeah? About when I was too into the game to be a good guardian. So, when Father Zook said he wanted out, Tell you the truth, I was kind of glad. Who was that? Until half a year ago, he was a summoner. Waka and I were his guardians. It's kind of a short pilgrimage. He gave up halfway, here, on this plane. Now he is a monk at the Bavel Temple. This is my third pilgrimage as a guardian. Father Zook was my second, and my first, well, it ended here too. I've never been to the lands beyond. Mount Gagazet towers to the north, and Xanarkand lies beyond that. Xanarkand's right around a corner. Okay, so I'm going to make my way across the plane to the monster arena. I think that's where I'm going. And then from there I'm going to save it. I'm actually going to uh, end my play for today. I'll come back another day and figure out what my plan of attack is going to be as far as monster catching and whatnot. I mean, I can tell you right now that I'll be equipping uh, capture weapons for most of the next little area. I'll keep some other weapons handy too for boss fights and whatnot, but... I can also tell you right now that I won't be doing any intentional monster catching, and by that I mean actually staying in an area for the sole purpose of catching monsters. I won't be doing that on video, so... And I won't even start that until we kind of get to the end of the story area here, and we start being able to move around the map freely. Try not to spoil anything, in case you guys are feeling like that was pretty nondescript. It was meant to be. But, uh, yeah. Because, it, again, it's one of those things... I can basically explain it to you, and then you'll know what's going on. With one exception, or I guess I should say two exceptions. It's not like there's new areas that won't be covered in the guide. Or in the let's play, walkthrough, whatever you want to call this. I 
also got to figure out what I want to do with my characters because now that I've gotten Mug, I can start using some spheres to teach it to other people. I can start using teleport spheres, warp spheres, return spheres, all of those kinds of things to figure out where I want to send my characters next. So. Obviously, Waka needs a little bit more accuracy because he's missing enemies that he should be hitting. And that's my fault. I took him down Oren's path. He would have had more accuracy upgrades if uh, he went down his own path, but... Anywho, when I uh, do come back after watching this one little scene here, I will let you guys know what I chose to do as far as uh, capture weapons, what their second ability is going to be, where I'm taking my characters. Like I'm going to look for a lot of that stuff off screen. What this guy's basically saying is he lost all the fiends and he wants you to go get them. for these two because they're not my crazy physical attackers. I bought two for these two and I might even buy a third one. I think I will buy a third one. Uh, because I'm going to have different abilities set up for different situations. Obviously if I'm, if I'm in an area with a bunch of armored you know, enemies, I'll, I'll put a, uh, what's it called, piercing there. So there's nine fiends. What I'm gonna do is, I'm, I probably will do some capturing right now too, and then I'll come back. I won't do anything else. I'll just stay in the calm lands. I won't even pick up the two Albed primers that are here. I'll do that when the camera's rolling. So I'll go and get some captures done, and then I'll let you know what captures I do. And then again with all the the equipment and the levels and everything. So I'll have quite a bit to talk about next time, and that'll be part 20, so I will see you guys when we get there.